Hello there everybody and welcome to my first let's play ever. We're playing uh, Pokemon Dark Violet which is a ROM hack of Fire Red and Leaf Green. And the only reason, the only thing I know about it is that it's a lot harder than the original game. And other than that we're going completely blind. So that's fun. And this is also my first Let's Play, and it's also the first time I'm using my voice on the channel in this much of a capacity, if at all. So, hopefully we have fun with it, and let's get started. Hello there, well, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by po creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little about yourself. Now tell me, are you a boy or are you a girl? So we are going to go with the boy character. Let's begin with your name. What is it? We're going to go with my name. Right, so your name is Lucas? Yes. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were both babies. And what was his name now? So we are going to name our rival after my brother. I don't know, I always named him after my brother. After I started, stopped naming him stuff like Butt and Bug and stuff like that. And every rival that we get, or every character we can name, we're going to name after one of my close friends. But so for this one, we're starting with Maxwell. <laughs> Er, was it Maxwell? Yes. That's right, I remember now. His name was Maxwell. Cool. Lucas, your very own Pokemon Legends is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! Oh yay, we're getting shrunk. Ooh. Let's see what, what's going on here. Uh, crammed full of Pokemon books. Same as my bookshelf, or at least part of it. The other part is Star Wars books. But anyway. It's a nicely made dresser. It will hold a lot of stuff, I hope so. I mean, we only have one outfit, but still. <laughs> Lucas played Super Mario Galaxy 2. I have never actually played Super Mario Galaxy 2. Most of I got into Mario was Mario Kart. The Wii console! I had a Wii once. I forgot about my Wii. Okay, let's see what's on the PC, because there's usually something good in here. Uh, item storage. There's some orange berries. We're gonna need those. Nope, we can't deposit anything. We don't have anything to deposit! <laughs> oh no! Uh, let's go downstairs. Hey look, it's Mom! Lucas, you need to get ready. Professor Oak said that he's going to give you a Pokemon before you leave. For your journey. Wow, did I really just say that? I can't believe this is happening. My little Lucas, leaving to travel the Kanto region and take on the Pokemon League challenge. I guess it's really true all kids have to grow up someday. It said so on TV. Oh man, that's sad. You need to get going. Why the rush, Mom? Why, why, why do you want us to leave? Uh, what are you, what, what's on TV? The movie on TV. Well, oh, man. Oh, she's, she's watching one of those, those soap operas or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't watch a ton of TV. I mean, I, I watch TV, but like animated stuff mostly 
Not like TV TV. Okay. Let's go to Professor Oak's house. Or I mean his lab. His lab. Uh Ed Maxwell. Wait, it's only Lucas? Gramps isn't around. Oh, who, who's this? Oh it's it's a uh, it's 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 green. Hey Lucas, are you looking for Professor Oak? I think he's off somewhere. Uh, I, I guess we're gonna go look for him now. So let's do that. Okay. Wait, Lucas. Oh no. Don't go out there. It's too unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in the tall grass. Didn't your mother tell you what was going? I was going to give you a Pokemon before you left. Here, come with me. Okay, we're following this dude now. So, you know we're doing stuff. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. I see we still need to work on that attitude problem of yours, Maxwell. Anyway. Wait, where's Green? Right here, Professor. Alright, now that we have everyone here, let us begin. Lucas, Maxwell, Green. Wow, that's weird. I guess we should have done red, blue, and green, but uh, anyway, we're here now, so it's whatever. See those three Pokemons on the table? Each one of them contains a Pokemon. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. Over time, I became not only a ski skilled trainer, but I became one of the world's poke top Pokemon researchers. However, you're not here to listen to me babble about my achievements, but rather, you're here to start a legend of your very own. The three Pokemon on the table above me were we've just recently hatched from Pokemon eggs. That makes more sense in like him in the original game just like getting rid of all of his Pokemon except for the starters which is always kind of dumb and then he gives you that Pokedex which is kind of empty and it's kind of dumb but anyway that makes more sense hey Gramps no fair what about me were you listening to the word I said I said all three of you may pick one Pokemon. Sorry, my headphones died on me and my mic died, which is kind of dumb. I guess it's doing that again. Enough of the attitude, Maxwell, or I may change my mind. You know, it's, it's the first episode. We're, we're, we're doing a thing. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Okay, I already have my starter in mind, which is the starter I always played with ever since I started in Pokemon Fire Red, so we're going with my boy Squirtle. Hmm, Squirtle is your choice, it's one worth raising. So, you've decided on the wa water Pokemon, Squirtle. Yes. Okay. Yay, Squirtle! We got a Squirtle. We got our Squirty boy. <laughs> and we are going to give it a nickname. I'm going to go with the nickname I always give my Squirtles, or at least my starter Squirtles. So we're gonna call it Shell Shock, cause you know Shell Shock. It's uh, I think that the girl that has the Blastoise in the first Pokemon movie 
have Shell Shocker, but that doesn't fit in the original game. And I don't know, I, I like that, but I actually like Shell Shock better. It, it grew on me a little bit. Okay, green, this one is mine. Now I have more things to give you three. However, there's something I need to be taken care of first. I need something from the Viridian City Pokemon Center that I ordered there. If one of the three of you could go retrieve that package, I would really appreciate it. Thanks! Okay, so we're gonna go on an adventure and we're gonna go... Uh... We're, we're gonna go out and get... Uh... Get Professor Oak's thing because I guess Amazon doesn't exist in this world. Wait, Lucas, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Oh, yay, we're, we're fighting this guy. That's fun. Okay, Pokemon Trainer Maxwell would like to battle. Maxwell sent out Bulbasaur! Yay! Okay. Come on, Shellshock, you got this, bro. Okay, Tail Whip, because he's probably going to use Growl a few times. I miss when the, the rivals would choose the... Oh shoot, that, that did a lot. Please don't hit a crit again. I, I guess we're already using the horn berries that we got. Yeah, so I guess, I guess we're already using the, the orange berries. So, shoot. At least we're faster than him. What? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokemon! Okay, cool. We, we beat him, I guess. So, yay! Just watch, I'll train my Pokemon the hardest. I'll come to the Pokemon League, complete the Pokemon League challenge before either of you. You know, okay. Just what is Maxwell's problem? He's so obnoxious. Anyway, let's battle, Lucas. I'm not holding back. He's actually like a lot easier than the stupid Bulbasaur was. Unless he hits a crit, which is not gonna be fun. Of course, he hits a crit right after I say, unless he hits a crit. That's how it goes. Oh well. How do we lose against Green but win against Maxwell? It's stupid. Green's supposed to be the weaker one. Oh well. Yeah, mom. That's fine. That was a bummer. So I, I guess, hopefully that's not an omen for like the rest of the playthrough. But anyway. Okay. Try far away, blah, blah, blah. Okay, mom, stop talking. Oh no, I accidentally pressed the uh, A button when, one too many times. Okay. Let's leave. Oh yeah, we don't have the running shoes yet. Oh no, you're gonna make me do this again! Okay. I guess I'll just cut that part out. Ah. Okay, so we, we died the first time we fought Green. Because for some reason we beat Maxwell, but then we killed... Then Green killed us with a crit. But anyway, we're gonna fight her again, so yay. Anyway, let's battle, Lucas. I'm not holding back. Cool. 
Back to back rival battles. That's fun. Charmander! Charmander's overrated, Danny. Okay, I like Charmander. And. I don't know, I don't really like Charmeleon. And then they, you get to Charizard, and Charizard's just like super overrated. Like, he's got like two Megas. Which I like, I like Charizard X, I'm not gonna lie. But like, then he's got like a Dynamax. And I don't think he has a regional variant, but I'm like really surprised about that. Because I would like be like really. It wouldn't surprise me if like in Gen 10 they, they give him a regional variant, but still. So yay, Charmander's down. We're, we're, he's dead now. And we are level 7. Yay! Okay, we learned Bubble. That's gonna be useful. I wish we had that five minutes ago. But whatever. Okay, I'm not sure they really like Maxwell. Cool. Some type of Maxwell that we battled. You do realize that at this point your Pokemon has fought two battles already. Well, Maxwell and I have only fought one. Okay. That means the strongest of the three of us. I don't have a problem with that. Let's go get that package from Viridian City. Yeah, because apparently Amazon doesn't exist. Okay, who are we going to run into first? Ooh, Rattata. I actually kind of like Rattata. I always use one in my Jodo playthroughs. I think it's because, like, when I was 10, I had the, the Pokewalker thing, and I stuck my Cyndaquil or my Feraligator in there. I don't remember which one I had first. I think it was Cyndaquil, but anyway, I stuck it in there and then I couldn't figure out how to get back out, so Rattata kind of became my starter Pokemon for like a while until I figured out how the Pokewalker worked because I was 10 and stupid. But uh, anyway, that's why I like Rattata and I just use him on my Jota playthroughs now. Okay, I do love, I do love Route 1's music though. Cool. We we're going Pokemon Center. Hey, you came from Palatown? Yeah, we did. Okay, I don't know why that keeps happening, but like, my mind just wants to shut off itself, so if there's some little glitches, that's why. Uh, his order came in. Do you want to take it to him? Okay. Received Oak par Parcel from the Pokemart guy. You know, we'll, we'll get these kings worked out. It's the first day. You know, we're, we're not great at this yet. <laughs> and honestly, I don't have all the fancy stuff that like other people have because it's just me playing it just with what I have so we're here okay yay this is so much faster oh we should go to that tree fruit bearing tree oh yay we got some orange berries we're gonna need those because we already used one of them Okay, this is a jam. This is a jam. Oh, come on. Hey, a Pidgey! I don't know, we, we might add a Pidgey to our team, I don't know. I haven't really thought about the, how the team's gonna work yet, so... If you guys have any suggestions, I'm all ears, because I've never played all the way through this game. Okay, Professor Oak, where are we going? Oh, Lucas, how is my old Pokemon? I think it's too long to attached to you. Alright, the package. Okay, because I guess we're- I guess we work for Amazon now. Dude, I want a cookie. Gramps! Okay. I almost forgot. What did you call me for? 
before you guys leave for your journey, I have two things to give you. Where I'd need all three of you to get here. Let's wait for Green. Alright. I'm sure you already know challenge in the Pokemon League requires having obtained the eight badges of Kanto. In order to obtain these badges, you need to defeat the eight gym leaders. Thus requiring you to travel through the entirety of the Kanto region. During your journey through Kanto, you will end up seeing many different kinds of Pokemon. On my desk to the right is the invention of the Pokedex. The Pokedex will allow you to record different kinds of Pokemon you see. Yeah, so it's basically like a Pokemon encyclopedia, but like you need to you need to like catch the Pokemon to like get get all the all the info for them. So that's like the point of the game, but I've never really been a completionist other than my X and Y playthrough. Where I completed the regional Pokedex and then I almost got done with the national Pokedex but now that they've shut all the servers down I'm probably never gonna get the cottony I need so yay <laughs> oh well you went to blah 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 yay we got some Pokeballs so next time we should be able to add some Pokemon to our team so you know any suggestions are welcome Again, I've never played through this game, and I know it's basically the same as Kanto, but or it's like the original Kanto in the original games. Okay, smell you later. Bye, bye, guy. See ya. Okay, so uh, with that, they've all left, and we are going to, you know, chill outside of. Professor Oak's lab and I'm gonna go chill out so see you guys later uh, this is the end of the episode I think it went well other than you know some glitches because it's first day but anyway it went well so see you guys later <laughs>